I remember right after Christmas break, um, just felt like there's nothing left. Those first couple months of junior high, I just felt like so lost and I did not want to go to school. I was bullied for like a lot of different reasons, but like the main thing was called like being fat all the time. And so I had a really bad eating disorder. There was a lot of moments where it was really dark and sad and I had no friends and I tried to commit suicide a few times. And eighth grade came and I just felt like no one was really like, there for me. I just, and I, I didn't have like, really any good friends at all. And I didn't hang out. My mom would say, hey, like, why don't you do something after school? I, I said, with who? I would just like be in the library during lunch and like I would be doing homework because it's embarrassing to be by yourself. Like I felt so alone and like like just by myself. I remember sitting on my bed. Um, I was home alone, thinking of how I would end my life. I didn't really care about what was happening because I felt like if I did care, it'd just be too painful. There was a lot of times where I would get in bed at night and be feel just so utterly alone that like just like sobbing to myself. Um, I'd wake up, I wouldn't even get ready because I knew I'd just be bullied no matter what. And I wouldn't talk to anyone and I'd try to hide and lunch, I'd hide in the bathroom. As long as I just sit in my bed and I would just like, think like, why am I here? You know, I, like, what's, my, what's the point of me being here? I don't have any friends. You know, I, I would like just try to get my mind off it, but I just wouldn't leave my mind. I knew that if I let myself feel something, it would just be pain. What you said you were when you met me. Until one day, I looked up and I saw the sunrise. Everything changed. Ever since then, I've made sure to look up, see the sunrise. I was able to go like to a couple summer camps and everything, and I was able to find someone at that summer camp that like I really connected with because I felt like she wanted to be with me as much as I wanted to be with her. So I felt like I had an actual like friend again. Every day the sun rises, no matter what, even if people complain about it being too hot or if there's clouds in the sky, that the sun is always going to rise no matter what. And so I thought that like, I shouldn't base my actions off of what's going on around me, and that I should just make the decision to rise and be myself and shine my light, even if other people aren't going to notice it or don't like it, that I can still be that. It doesn't matter what people say or if they try to tear you down, you just have to keep on going. It really won't do anything good for you if you let them tear you down like that. Like everything you say about yourself is the most meaningful thing. I remember I was walking down the hall and there was this older girl who was on student council and she came up to me and she complimented my shirt and she gave me a hug and I went to the bathroom and started crying because I was like the first time someone really truly acknowledged me and was nice to me and that was the first time where I felt hope that like if she noticed me then I should keep on going. Every day might not be a good day but there's something good in every day you just choose to look for it. Well, the biggest way that I find hope is with serving others, and so I think if sometimes you're having a really bad day, try to go out of your way to help someone else or find someone who's lonely and compliment them, and it will make you so much happier. There's things that I can do, and there's reasons that can make me hopeful because I'm looking again, and I uh, really think that it's like good again. I finally just realized like if I'm gonna feel bad for myself, it's not gonna get me anywhere. In order to change it, I have to just like, I have to figure out who I am and what I believe in, and I have to follow what I believe in. I definitely think that if you look for hope, and like you honestly want to find it, that you looking for it will result in you being hopeful and happy. I joined Hope Squad because I understand the feeling when people like, are 
otherwise and there really is no doctor feeling and when you feel like everything's gone to the point where you want to kill yourself there's just more to it I like there's more to life and it took me three years to figure that out The key to finding hope is to look up and look around you. See that everyone is feeling pain and that your pain is yours and that it's okay to feel pain. But there's also hope. There's always something good coming.